This toast is because I love my Katya. I love my Ariana. And Lana, well, I throw her in the light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> the next dining etiquette. The next dining etiquette. So I've been married to a Slavic woman coming in on 20 years. In that time period, there's a lot of things that have shocked me about Ukrainian, Russian, and Belarusian culture. They have some crazy superstitions and habits. One being, if you forget something at the house, you can't go back for it. It's bad luck. And if you have to, well, make sure to look in a mirror and smile. Another one, if you've got guests stopping over, at least one bottle of vodka for every guy present. Seriously, they drink it all and it doesn't even phase them. That being said, one habit I absolutely love, these people know how to toast. Seriously, my wife's family, they toast everything and they're good at it. They know when to do it. They're not tripping over their words. They're saying things that have meaning. I mean, you look around, there's not a dry eye in the house. If you needed to give a toast right now, would you know what to say? Would you know how to grab everyone's attention? Do you know the rules on how to give a good toast? Here's to my daughter, Katya, amazing girl. Here's to my beautiful girl, Ariana, amazing. And then there is Lana. What can I say? <laughs> So the rules to giving a toast are pretty simple. First up, make sure everyone has a drink and it doesn't have to be an alcoholic drink. Next up, be careful of toasting before the host. And if you are going to toast before the host, make sure to ask their permission. Next, you want to announce your intention. If you're all seated at the table, go ahead and stand holding your drink up. Everyone's going to pretty much pick up on it. If other people are in conversation, people aren't noticing, it may be something you want to say, I'd like to give a toast and project the voice. Some people say you should bang on the glass. I really don't recommend that. The thing is you want to get everyone's attention and again, make it clear what you're about to do. And now at this point, you give your toast. Now what to say? Well, this depends. Is it a special occasion? Is it something that we're celebrating two people and their anniversary? Are we celebrating somebody's birthday? What is the occasion? That's the easiest way to toast. And yes, you may be a funny guy. And if you've done toast and if you've practiced, go for it, throw some humor in. This is a toast of the emergency broadcast system. <laughs> <laughs> But the best thing to do is just simply to be sincere and keep it short. The next dining etiquette habit that makes you look good, saying bon appetit, enjoy your meal. You can say this if you're serving somebody, if you are simply eating with your family, eating with your partner, eating with a group. What you want to do is get the meal started and let everyone know, hey, enjoy your meal. Let's get started. And I realize, you know what? It makes the food taste better. When you know that somebody has prepared this, is looking out for you and wants you to enjoy a great meal. So it's something now we say in our own family. And I found when I'm out with people, when I'm out with my family, I've now started to say this and everyone's like, wow, well, thank you. It just adds a bit of flavor to the meal when you know that other people want you to enjoy what you have in front of you. And speaking of enjoying the food in front of you, I want to introduce today's sponsor, HelloFresh. So gents, if you haven't heard of this company, you're missing out. They make it so easy to eat healthy and to be able to cook meals, which are going to impress your family or just simply yourself. Seriously, as you can see here, I had the packages delivered right to my door. I took them in my house, unwrapped everything. As you can see, I had enough here and I've got a family of six. They sent me enough for three meals for six people. Boom all right here. Now, like a lot of you, I'm a busy guy. I've got four kids, three businesses, one wife who I like to spend time with. And let's just say that just cooking for cooking sake isn't something I normally do. HelloFresh made it easy. So first up, I pulled everything out of the containers and I love how they had it clearly marked. And I told them exactly, you know, we're meat eaters. I wanted something that was hearty, something that my family was going to enjoy. At the same time, I wanted to cook something different, but I wanted it easy. HelloFresh delivered. So for my first HelloFresh, meal, I decided to cook the pork bulgogi bowl. Now, the pressure was on because my family's watching me do this. My daughters are really excited about the meal. They're like, dad, don't mess this up. So I started cooking the rice. Okay, pretty simple. You really can't mess up rice. No, you can't because I've messed up rice before. But following the instructions, using the ingredients, everything provided right here by HelloFresh, boom, I was able to get that rice pretty, yeah, looking good. I, I'm on the right path. Step two, they wanted me to pickle some cucumbers. So as you can see, I was going through and I'm slicing. I'm dicing. Okay, I lost a few on the floor. Point being is 95% of what I needed landed right where it was going to go and boom, I'm pickling these cucumbers, making things happen. So at this point, I'm taking the rice off the simmer, moving it over to go ahead and sit and let's work on these carrots. Now, I was cooking for six people. And what I like about these instructions, it doesn't matter if you're cooking for two people, four people, six people, they are super clear about what you need to do, what you need to adjust. And I had to cook things a little 
little bit longer, but hey, look at this right here. Me cooking these carrots. Yes, I lost a few, but hey, you know, I'm not gonna cry over spilt carrots here. All right, so now it's getting serious. Let's start cooking up the pork. I don't know a whole lot about pork, but I do know you need to cook it all the way through. They did say it would take about six minutes, but again, because I'm cooking 50% more than what they normally talk about on this, I knew I needed to cook for about eight to 10 minutes. And it was exactly right. It turned out really well. At least I think it did. Add in that vinegar, you know, the, the actual, the sauce in there. This thing's looking good slowly, but surely, yes, the meal is turning out. Next up, I'm making the sriracha crema. And I thought this would be the easiest part, but apparently I did not have scissors with me. I'm trying to use this knife, trying to, yes, my hands got a little bit dirty, sour creams all over the place. Yeah, at least I didn't get the sriracha all over the place. Kept that right there in the bowl. Mixing this up, it's looking good, right? Nice and creamy. This, this is gonna turn out good. So we're getting close. At this point, I pulled the rice and I'm fluffing it, adding a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Yeah, this is game time. Okay, let's put it on the table. So now you can see, got my plate start putting it all together and go ahead get that rice down there go ahead and bring in the pork put the carrots the pickled cucumbers drizzle with that, that crema on there Ooh, the scallions get a little bit of the green ones right on there and add a little bit of sesame seed this looks good what do you guys think i did a better job stacking you know they all mixed it up i went for layers here let's see what it tastes like Mmm, look at me eat that stuff. No, seriously, this is great. My daughters absolutely loved it. When my son got home from football practice, he devoured a bowl. Uh, my wife liked it. I mean, this was a hit. This was a great meal. Boom, made easy by HelloFresh. Seriously, gents, they made this simple. I followed the instructions. I didn't mess anything up. And believe me, there were a lot of things I could have messed up. The instructions were simple and you were to follow them. They, they thought through this process. In addition, they were really clear. Five minutes to prep. 20 minutes to cook. It took me a little bit more because I was cooking more. I was cooking for six people. And uh, 840 calories. So I knew what I was getting. I felt great about giving my family a meal they never had that they all loved and that is healthy. And guys, that's what HelloFresh does. They cut out the stressful meal planning, the prepping, so that you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in 30 minutes or even sometimes 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Guys, when you go over to the HelloFresh website, they've got over 50 options, 50 different menus that you can choose from and they got market items each week including ready to eat salads, sandwiches and soups. Plus, every recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. It's also worth noting, since the produce comes directly from the farmers, you actually get fresher produce through HelloFresh than you do at your own grocery store. The result is food that tastes amazing. And I know, I've got very finicky kids. Everyone devoured everything on the plate. And they're excited. Actually, my kids are telling me, my, my 13-year-old, she's going to cook the next meal. My son, he's taking the one after that. I love it. It's not just saving me time. Hey, I've got my kids cooking. Gents, as you can tell, I love HelloFresh. I want to make sure you guys get the best deal out there on the web. So use that link. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code RMRS14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Seriously, gents, 14 free meals. This is the best deal out there on the web. Go over to HelloFresh. That code is RMRS14. Awesome deal. Take advantage of this. Next dining etiquette rule that's going to make you look good, pull out the chair. And not just for women. Pull it out for anybody. Anytime somebody's coming up and they're going to join you, pull out a chair for them. Show that guy you, I mean, yeah, he's a good friend and you're not going to get up necessarily and pull the chair out for him. Or maybe you will because you know what? You value him. And this is what this shows, that you simply are wanting this person to join. It's not that this person is intruding upon you. You want them to become part of your company. Now, historically, this has been something that men would do for women. Whenever a woman would show up to the table, the men would stand. And I'm not saying to do that. That's a little bit too old fashioned and it can get a little bit crazy when you got bigger groups together. What I am saying though, is don't be afraid to take an pull that chair out for anyone, you know, an older person that may just simply need help. And that's what I love about this point is you are looking out for others and you're putting others before yourself. This right here just goes to show everybody that you have their interests in mind. This next one's a modern etiquette rule, but keep the phone off the table. So many times people put their phone right there on the table. And there's a study that actually talked about how even a glass of water between two people creates a bit of distance. What you want to do is have nothing between you, especially a phone, something making buzzing noises because guess what? You're addicted to it. Most people are. And when you understand that we become easily addicted to our phones, you realize why you're putting it out there because you can't imagine missing a call. And you're here with somebody enjoying a great meal. And yeah, it just may be your family meal. Isn't that what you're working 
working for? Isn't that what's important to you? You know, this partner that you've been with for years, how about you turn that phone off and give her your undivided attention. Spend time with the people you're with because they'll be gone, you'll be gone. The time passes so quickly. Make sure that when it comes to these this meal time that you're enjoying it with them. So take that phone, turn it off, take it off the table. Now, gents, we're talking about dining etiquette today, but you know what YouTube etiquette is? To boom, smash that like button. By feeding the algorithm, by letting YouTube know that you guys enjoy this video, more men will find this video and hopefully, yeah, they'll start actually acting like guys. And by the way, if I miss something, if there's a dining etiquette habit out there that you wish more men would do, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I go down there and I read and I learn so much from you guys. So yeah, get down there and let me know if you would have added something to this video. The next dining habit that's going to make you look good arrange for a picture to be taken of you and your party. Now, do you want to do this for every family meal? Perhaps if you want to create one of those viral videos of time lapses over time, that'd be actually really cool. But what I'm really talking about is when you get together with your friends, with people maybe you haven't seen for a few months, for a few years. Here's the thing it's I've been to so many of those and we forget to take a picture. Yes, life goes on, but pictures are about capturing the moment. Now, I know I just said turn the phone off and put it under the table, but this is a good thing to be able to grab that waiter, to be able to ask that waitress, do you mind? be able to take a picture. Always go for the youngest one because they're so great at taking pictures. Point being is hand it over and ask, hey, let's get a picture taken. And it's you know, your mother-in-law, your, your father-in-law, your wife, it's their family, but you haven't seen them for a year and you don't know what the future holds. You get this picture. This could be something that your wife cherishes if something were to happen to her parents in the next few months. Point being, you get this picture, be that person that you thought about this and that you make sure everyone gets it and you become that thoughtful person that captured those moments that people cherish. The next dining habit that's going to make you look good, be a thoughtful guest. You've been invited over to a friend's house, his wife is cooking you a great dinner and you're going over there with your partner and guess what? Find out, talk to your friend and find out, hey, what does your wife like? What are her favorite flowers? Hopefully, he knows that information. If not, just simply grab some flowers and present them to her. Yes, you know, by the way, don't arrive too early. Arrive right on time and just make it really simple. She'll take the flowers, she'll put them into a vase. Some people may want to bring wine. if you know that they drink if you know that they're into wines. Point is to be thoughtful, to actually find out what is something that you would want. Try to avoid bringing food though unless you've been asked to bring a dessert or a meal. And I've been to places like that where it's kind of a potluck and everyone does bring something. Just try not to show up empty-handed. It definitely is something, especially if you're going to a house for the first time. And again, I find that this is really big in the Slavic community. You always bring something. But the more thought that goes into it. And again, don't go overboard with it. Just find something small that you can add, not necessarily to the table, but at least to her home, showing that, hey, you've thought about this. And it applies to guys. Guys appreciate it whenever you show up and you bring a six pack of beer or, you know, or, you know, some of that fancy stuff. Point being is don't show up empty handed. The next dining etiquette habit that's going to make you look good, saying thank you. Okay, so you went out to a meal and your buddy paid for it. Him and his wife covered the meal for all six of you. Guess what? You need to not only text him a thank you, text her as well. I've got a friend and his wife goes crazy because he seems to always get the thank yous. She doesn't get anything. It's like we have a joint checking account. I paid for the meal too. Yes, you may think, you know, oh, that's petty. She shouldn't worry about it. Not happens to women a lot that they are slighted, they're forgotten about. And especially, you know, oh, I just, I thought he would pass it on. Guys don't always do that. Point being is send a message and thank both of them. Be very clear. And that is something that just doesn't happen. And maybe you just want to simply send a letter. You can do that. It's a little bit old fashioned. Maybe make a quick phone call. But again, thank everyone that took care of you at the meal and just being able to say thank you like that is a big deal and it matters to people. Now, what about the general dining etiquette rules? The rules that every man needs to know. These are the foundation rules, the basic ones, the ones that if you mess up, yeah, you are definitely, yeah, a savage. So, go watch this video right here. I lay out the basic dining etiquette rules that every man must know. So, boom, check it out right here. I'll hold it up here for a second. Come on, it's getting heavy. Click the link, go check out the video. That's it, guys. Take care.